In a fascinating study in regards to mitigating the chances, I should say, of developing skin cancer in individuals who already had a history of skin cancer, researchers may have come with a simple solution, a simple vitamin, a simple derivative of a vitamin, I should say, vitamin B3. Let me proceed forward with the study. Now keep in mind, this is not your standard niacin. Inexpensive, cheap, and common, yes, but it is not your regular flushing type niacin. But let me proceed with the study. Vitamin B3 derivative cuts risk of new skin cancer. This is what happened in the study, and you'll discover what the derivative of vitamin B3 we're actually talking about. But let us proceed. All 386 participants in the study had a history of skin cancer, increasing the risk for additional skin cancers. Taken as a pill twice daily for 12 months, two times a day for 12 months, nicotinamide, also known as niacinamide, so nicotinamide, also known as niacinamide, reduced the incidence of new non-melanoma skin cancers by 23% relative to placebo controls and cut the incidence of precancerous sunspots by around 15%. This is what makes it fascinating because we don't know how the study may work in individuals who never had skin cancer before, but this already was in people that had a high chance of developing new skin cancers, and there was a 23% reduction just within 12 months of taking niacinamide twice daily, I should say, well, 12 months a year, without being too repetitive. But let us proceed. This study builds on a decade of evidence from preclinical and early clinical studies. Yeah, I'll get you to the exact dosage amount too in a little bit, which suggests nicotinamide enhances the repair of DNA in skin cells damaged by sunlight. You already can see the cosmetic uh, application or potential per se. But to proceed forward, nicotinamide, known as niacinamide, not niacin, also appears to protect the skin's immune system from UV radiation but by providing skin cells an extra energy boost when they repair mode after sun exposure can you hear anybody say tanning bed by any chance? However, let us proceed. How safe is nicotinamide? The researchers wanted to clarify this. This is what they said. Nicotinamide was very well tolerated with no difference in adverse effects, blood pressure, or blood results. Nicotinamide is a different form of vitamin B3 to nicotinic acid or a niacin. Many of us know niacin as the vitamin that causes you to become flush and red and the skin is tingly. This is not it. This is nicotinamide. Now, just a caveat. Nicotinamide is also known as no flush niacin. So is inositol hexanicotinate. So, when looking for this on a shelf in a health food store, please make sure it states specifically nicotinamide, not inositol hexanicotinate or niacin. But let me proceed. Nicotinic acid commonly causes niacin, as we just discussed, headaches, flushing, and low blood pressure, but these side effects are not seen with nicotinamide. Furthermore, it is widely accessible as an inexpensive over-the-counter vitamin. All right, keep in mind, there's a lot of different versions of nicotinamide, even, for example, nicotinamide riboside. So just make sure you look for the word niacinamide. That will keep your costs down, and you'll stick within the study parameters. Over-the-counter vitamin supplement presents a new chemopreventative opportunity against non-melanoma skin cancer. That's their words, not mine. That is readily translatable into clinical practice. All right, the dosage they took over a, a 12 months was 500 milligrams twice daily. Again, the DOI citation, I'm gonna list below. Any further questions, please feel free to comment and I'll try to respond to those as soon as I possibly can, but I really do hope this helps. Vitamin B3 derivative nicotinamide, 23% reduction in skin cancer or non-melanoma skin cancer in those that already had a prior history, which makes it just fascinating over a 12-month period of time. Again, Ralph Short Channel, signing off, and I really do hope this helps. Thank you.